10 effective kettlebell exercises to work your butt and legs. Exercise number 1. Kettlebell goblet squat. Stand with your feet slightly wider than hip width apart, toes slightly turned out, holding the kettlebell by the bell, with both hands, at your chest. Engage your core and keep your chest lifted and back flat as you shift your weight into your heels, push your hips back, and bend your knees to lower into a squat. Drive through your heels to stand and squeeze your glutes at the top for one representative. Exercise completed. Exercise number 2. Kettlebell deadlift. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent, holding a kettlebell with both hands by the handle, arms relaxed in front of your body. Hinge at your hips, bend your knees slightly, and push your butt back to perform a deadlift, slowly lowering the weight down toward the ground. Pause at bottom, then slowly stand back up to return to starting position. Squeeze your glutes at the top. This is one representative. Exercise completed. Exercise number 3. Kettlebell squat clean. Stand with your feet about shoulder width apart with a kettlebell on the floor between your feet. Bend your knees and push your hips back to lower and grab the kettlebell with both hands by the top of the handle. Drive through your heels to stand as you pull the weight up to your chest. In the same upward movement, quickly swap your hands from the handles to the bell. Immediately lower into a squat, shifting your weight into your heels and pushing your hips back as you bend your knees. Exercise completed. Exercise number 4. Kettlebell squat clean. Stand with your feet about shoulder width apart with a kettlebell on the floor between your feet. Bend your knees and push your hips back to lower and grab the kettlebell with both hands by the top of the handle. Drive through your heels to stand as you pull the weight up to your chest. In the same upward movement, quickly swap your hands from the handles to the bell. Immediately lower into a squat, shifting your weight into your heels and pushing your hips back as you bend your knees. Exercise completed. Exercise number 5. Double kettlebell deadlift. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart and your knees slightly bent, holding a kettlebell in each hand by the handle, arms relaxed by your sides with your palms facing each other. Hinge at your hips, bend your knees slightly, and push your butt back to perform a deadlift, slowly lowering the weights down toward the floor. Pause at bottom, then slowly stand back up to return to starting position. Squeeze your glutes at the top. This is one representative.
exercise completed. Exercise number 6. Kettlebell swing. Make a triangle with the kettlebell and your feet, with your feet at the bottom of the triangle and the kettlebell about a foot in front of you at the top of the triangle. With a soft bend in your knees, hinge forward at your hips, push your butt back, and grab the handle with both hands. Tilt the bell on its side, handle toward your body. Exercise completed. Exercise number 7. Alternating single arm kettlebell swing. It's best to master the two-handed kettlebell swing first before attempting this move. You may also find when first learning this move that you want to start with a lighter weight. By handling the weight with only one hand at a time, you're demanding more stability from your core. Make a triangle with the kettlebell and your feet, with your feet at the bottom of the triangle and the kettlebell about a foot in front of you at the top of the triangle. Exercise completed. Exercise number 8. Kettlebell rack split squat. Start standing with your feet shoulder width apart, holding a kettlebell in each hand at your shoulders. Hold the weights by the handles, using an overhand grip so that your palms are facing forward and the bells are hanging down and resting on your shoulders. Step forward about 2 feet forward with your left foot and plant it firmly on the floor. Bend both knees until your left quad and right shin are approximately parallel to the floor. Your torso should lean slightly forward so your back is flat and not arched or rounded. Your left knee should be above your left foot and your butt and core should be engaged. Exercise completed. Exercise number 9. Single arm racked curtsy lunge. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart and your left hand on your left hip. Hold a kettlebell in your right hand in the racked position at your shoulders, gripping the weight by the handle, using an overhand grip so that your palm is facing forward and the bell is hanging down and resting on your shoulder. Step your left foot diagonally behind you and lower your left knee until it almost touches the floor. Your front knee should bend to about 90 degrees, or as far as your mobility allows. Drive through your right heel to stand back up and return to the starting position. That's one representative. Do all your reps on one side, then repeat with the other leg, holding the kettlebell in the other hand. Completed. Exercise number 10. Kettlebell tactical lunge. Stand with your feet hip width apart, holding a kettlebell in your right hand by the handle, arm resting comfortably by your side. Step back, about two feet, with your right foot, landing on the ball of your right foot and keeping your heel off the ground.
exercise completed. Thanks for watching. More videos and update please subscribe my channel.